So let's tune in to Black Cyber, the number one, the number one podcast to jumpstart, sustain, and catapult African Americans' career in a cybersecurity. Black Cyber, securing our place in the industry. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Black Cyber Podcast. This is your host, George McPherson. Um, so we're in the middle of COVID, and they came up with a pretty good idea that's been entertaining everybody. They have the uh, Versus series, if anybody knows about that, where you get the famous artists. They compete against each other. I think they had the uh, Ludacris against Nelly. And then I think last month they had the uh, had Monica against Brandy. And they kind of go head to head with the music, kind of doing a competition. So I, I'm using that as inspiration to do what I call the verses uh, for the two, pretty much the two leading um, entry level security certifications. So the verses tonight is going to be CompTIA Security Plus going head to head with the SSCP. That's the System Security Certified Practitioner. Um, the first one, Security Plus, uh, is by CompTIA. Um, the other certification is the SSCP um, by ISC Squared. First, I'm going to go down the list of different things about the uh, Security Plus first. Uh, the Security Plus, the current version of the Security Plus is the 501 excuse me, the SY0-501, that's current, that will retire July 2021. A uh, new version will be coming out uh, in November 2020. Um, and that's the SY0-601. That is DOD approved. Um, one of the... Uh, pluses on that certification that is performance-based questions on the exam. I'll get uh, back to that later. Some of the skills you need to know for that certification, threats, attacks, and vulnerabilities, technologies and tools, architecture and design, identity and access management, risk management, cryptography, and PKI. So a quick overview of that certification a uh, maximum of 90 questions, multiple choice and performance pace, uh, 90 minutes. Recommended experience is uh, CompTIA Network Plus and two years of experience in IT administration with a security focus. The price for that certification is $300 and, uh, $349. So now we're gonna jump over to the uh, SSCP. Um, that has 125 questions. It's a three-hour exam, um, 700 passing score. That's also DOD approved. Um, you do kind of catch a uh, price break on this one. It's actually $100 less, $249. Um, the required experience uh, for this exam, um, you need to pass the exam, of course, and have at least one year cumulative cumulative paid work experience in one or more of the seven domains of the ISC squared SSCP common body of knowledge, CBK. So the skills for that, or we'll say domains, is systems and application security, access controls, security operations and administration, risk identification, monitoring and, and analysis, incident response, and recovery, uh, cryptography, and the last one, network and communications security. So um, I do have both of these certifications. Um, I got the Security Plus in 2013. It was my first, uh, it was actually my third certification, uh, but my first security certification that kind of opened some doors for me as far as employment. Um, so definitely a plus for that. I didn't have a college education. I didn't have, um, I had IT experience. I didn't have IT security experience and I did secure my first job 
a couple months after getting my Security Plus uh, fund test. I uh, didn't go too deep. It kind of went into terminology, uh, memorization, kind of knowing some of the terminology of security, which is the first step. Um, enjoyed the uh, certification. Uh, at that time, it was just multiple choice. And fast forward, I also took the SSCP in 2014. Uh, I was on my first uh, security job and I wanted to kind of deepen my knowledge. Um, and at that time, I didn't even know about the SSCP. I stumbled upon it because when I said I wanted to deepen my skills, I was like, okay, let's go for that um, CISSP. So I got to the site and I saw there were some experience requirements. It had to be uh, five years of experience in uh, one, I think it was one to two, I think two of the domains, but it had to be five years of experience. And I kind of got to that and I was like, okay. But then I was looking at the other certifications. They were more specialized certifications, but then I saw the SSCP and I noticed that that was kind of considered, I, I still use that term today, like a baby version of the CISSP. Uh, it covered most of the domains that the CISSP uh, covers. Um, but not all of them. And it's more on a technical level, day-to-day, hands-on. So I took that uh, certification in 2014. I uh, really enjoyed that certification. When I got there, I kind of put myself, uh, just imagine being on the job because the questions were real detailed as far as like scenarios. They kind of went deeper than the Security Plus. And that's what I did like at that time. That's what I liked about the SSCP. It kind of Every question was probably four sentences, sentences, a question. Um, and, you know, it was like a paragraph for each question. So it wasn't short questions. Uh, it really made you think. Um, and, and usually you had to kind of decipher it. The whole, you can need every sentence in that question, or you can need just a few pieces. And usually, as we all know, anybody that's experienced in taking exams, if you get a long um, question, it's usually only a couple sentences that really give you the answer and the rest is just fluff, but you got to kind of decipher what that is. So uh, back to my point, really enjoyed the test. It, uh, it really um, challenged me. And when I took that back to the job, uh, that just kind of, that just kind of lit a fire. It kind of just solidified some of the things that I was doing. Uh, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm doing that right. Keep up with that. Um, learned some things from the exam, took that back to work and, and kind of went full speed ahead. So um, fast forward to now, of course, you know, my experience with those exams are pretty old, uh, but just current day, um, what I'll say about the security plus is now the Security Plus kind of has a, um, I think they kind of leveled the playing field, whereas the SSCP did kind of feel practical the way they asked the questions, but um, the Security Plus kind of added the practical questions where it was hands-on, you're clicking around, um, looking at a firewall, looking at routers, uh, doing ping commands and uh, just doing real world um, exercises that really help you. If you if you ever heard of cyber ranges, doing that really pra that practice kind of kind of gets you kind of tuned up. Um, so I definitely like that about the security plus now that they added that. But I'm sure the SSCP just by the way they ask the questions is really strong and it kind of gets you kind of thinking uh, to that higher level. So. On that, I would say they're about the same. Um, what I'll say about the Security Plus, it is a more popular um, certification, uh, world renowned. Um, the SSCP doesn't have as much traction, but I remember when I actually took the SSCP, it didn't have much traction at all. Uh, but now it's 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 kind of it shows up way more often in uh, job descriptions. And it's, it's not far behind the Security Plus, but Security Plus is still way more pop, pop. Um And Security Plus used to have the edge in far as if you wanted to work for 
military or uh, DOD do government contracting, um, the Security Plus was the one that qualified you for that. And they've added, um, now they've added the SSCP to that. So they're kind of level on that. So it's um, the last thing I want to talk about. I did some research on it. And I, I invite anyone that's thinking about taking one of these exams to do the same thing. That research will really help you. I did an Indeed search. Uh, first, let's start with the Security Plus. I did it in my hometown, where the area I'm in now, uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. It came up for 14 jobs. I did it in, um, and I chose another East Coast area, but a hot spot for security jobs. Everybody knows that um, Washington, D.C., Maryland area is really hot for um, security jobs, really big on security jobs as far as being uh, saturated. Um, Washington, D.C., that number jumped way up to uh, 1,046 available jobs. And if we jump over to, where is that? Jump over to the SSCP. I did my Charlotte, North Carolina search. Um, so that 14 from Security Plus dropped down to four jobs. So you, you see the drop down there. Uh, Washington, D.C., there's, there was a significant drop down. Like when I was on the Security Plus side, it was uh, 1,046. That dropped to uh, seven, 752 jobs. So <clears throat> what I'll say about the Security Plus is it's obviously more popular. You may have a better chance if you get that. Um, just have a better chance if you're playing the numbers game as far as finding a job based off the Security Plus because it comes up a lot in search engines. Um, what I'll say on the SSCP side, if you're thinking about taking the um, CISSP pretty soon, like right behind um, your security, your entry level certification, I would, um, you may, I don't want to say I would, um, but that may be a good reason to actually lean towards taking the SSCP. It talks the language of the CISSP. Um, you would sign up for membership that would get you uh, not membership, but just kind of getting an email address for the uh, organization, ISC squared. Uh, you would learn the system, how that works. You would get to see the test, get familiar with that languages, uh, get familiar with that language, the way they ask the questions. Uh, the length of the question is pretty similar to the CISSP. Um, so it'll, it'll definitely, that'll really tune you up for the CISSP where, um, you would just be kind of filling in the holes, getting the rest of the domains and just extending your, um, your study. Um, so the winner of the SSCP and the security plus versus, um, is basically you, uh, you can't go wrong with either one. If either certification that you pick, um, it's going to set you up well. These two certifications, just starting off, any one of these certifications is going to set you up pretty good um, to be taken a little more seriously and given a second look um, when you're applying for jobs. Um, what I'll say on that is uh, experience. Of course, you may not have any. Uh, make sure you're labbing. Make sure you're setting up labs, learning how to do things on your own. You can put it on your resume in, in that capacity. And when they ask, you know, of course, be truthful about how you got that experience um, by doing it on your home labs. But that'll go a long way that you have that experience and you kind of took that initiative and you actually know how to do it um, hands on. Um, let's see. Yes, it's, it's definitely going to be a preference. Um, they they are they are kind of neck and neck right now. Um, so. For those reasons, it and if it's a budget reason, then the SSCP um, is going to be a hundred dollars less. Uh, the one thing I will point out, I kind of um, skimmed over that, but now I want to come back to it. If we're talking about choosing and picking advantages, um, you can take the SSCP, but you do need the one year experience. You can still take it. Um, and you'll become what they call an associate 
of ISC Squared. And when you get your years experience, then you'll become a full SSCP. Um, but that's, that's, that's pretty much it on the comparison of SSCP and Security Plus. You've been listening to the Black Cyber Podcast, hosted by George McPherson, securing our place in the industry. Be sure to subscribe to Black Cyber on YouTube and also subscribe to our podcast on all the major podcast networks like Anchor, Spotify, Apple, and many more.